Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Airstream Flying Cloud 27FB. This is a great floor plan. You have a north to south bed, and you get this big lounger back here, nice spacious kitchen, and a lot of storage. But I'm actually going to start off right here on the door. One of the things I love about Airstream is the interior exterior doors. They're extremely solid. It actually takes eight man hours for them to assemble one of the doors. And you can see how there isn't any flex, there isn't any wavering. You don't see any daylight anywhere throughout the door. In fact, it's actually why one of the reasons Airstream was selected. Uh, they created a capsule, it's a little bit of history. When the uh, first people to land on the moon came back, they put them in this capsule because they believed they were diseased and they knew that Airstream could make airtight units. They put them in this isolation chamber. So it just kind of goes to show you, even through history, Airstream has had an awesome door. Uh, on there, there is also this screen here. You will see that they have a guard up top as well as right down here to help protect that screen from some of your furry friends. That way your dogs aren't accidentally uh, knocking this screen out and they can still be your travel companions. All the doors do have uh, their own lock set as well, their own keys. There is no master key on an Airstream. And you will see right over here to the side, you have the, uh, the uh, grab handle here to assist you in entering or exiting the RV. Right along the back, we'll start up top. You see the extra storage up here. This is Italian poplar light, pi uh, light ply that they have up here. Excellent lightweight material. When we open it up, you'll notice the hidden hinges, the beautiful curved wood here as well for the doors, giving it that streamlined appearance. And then obviously you have some good storage up there. Right over here to the side is a Blu-ray player in case you want to watch a movie. And you also have some USB inputs there as well. Uh, cool thing, we're again, kind of about the construction here, folks. With Airstream, they have a method of construction where they believe build it from the outside in. Where most manufacturers build everything inside, Airstream actually builds all their cabinetry, which by the way, all of it is screwed and glued and they use dowels, it's all pocket screws, so very residential style of building all the furniture. And then they bring it in through the door. So everything in here that you see has to come through that main doorway, which is, a, again, a very unique method of construction, very similar to the boat uh, and airplane industry. But again, great lightweight material that they have that's, uh, that's in here. You will notice over to the side you have a stereo, so if you want to listen to some music, you can do that CD player there too. We take a look underneath, you'll notice a couple LED lights here. One of the things Airstream does very well is they put a lot of lights. So even at night, even if you have all the privacy shades up like we do right now, it is still bright and airy. You don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. Speaking of those shades, all of these folks are hand sewn right in house. So it's not like they order them. They actually truly uh, you know, have tailors that will uh, sew them all together, make sure that it's a great fit when they put it in here. Everything Velcros together, so that way it kind of stays together as one solid piece, except for on the very ends, you'll see it has snaps again, so uh, just to make sure that that holds in place as you are pulling them together. But if you, if you open that up, it really is bright and airy, lets in all that natural light right here, uh, you know, and, and that's great, because this is where you'll be sitting down, eating your meals, you know, having your cup of coffee, and it's cool to be able to look out and really enjoy that view especially if you have a beautiful view out the back, folks. That is uh, great to have all those windows. Speaking of the dinette, you have this right here. Uh, cool thing about the dinette, it is nice and wide, as you can see right there, which is awesome. It also does drop down into a bed that is 40 inches wide by 97 inches long. That's an impressive length to have on a bed. So if you have adult guests that want to stay the night, they can, uh, you can accommodate them. And it's pretty easy, you see the leg right here, flip a lever, that folds back. And then it's kind of a standard, uh, you know, old style dinette where it's, you know, very sturdy, which is nice. But you just kind of undo it from the, the hooks in the back there, it'll drop down, take the cushions, put it on top, that will create the bed. This sofa is part over here, this lounger, this will also create a 66 inch long bed. So again, you have this space here as well, um, which is great, you know. So you have, again, a couple different places for everyone to sleep. If you take a look over by the door, right down here, you'll notice you actually have a cubby hole that's tucked away right here, which is kind of cool. 
I personally like that because that way as soon as you come in, it gives you a place to put your shoes off to the side. You don't have to have them just hanging out right in the doorway. And any, you know, any little nooks and crannies like that that people can utilize, uh, I think is pretty neat. If we take a look underneath the dinette itself here, you see this drops down just like so. And again, you have some great storage right there. And then also moving down a little bit further here, you see they have the same thing here. Some more excellent storage. They actually give you a couple bins here as well. Now I know that you know you can pick these up from Walmart for pretty darn cheap, but you know at least the manufacturer was thinking of you and they did provide them. So that way you don't have to go and try to do measurements and figure out exactly which ones that you need. We take a look over to the side, you see the top windows here with shades again to help bring in that natural light. Right down below that you have the larger windows, you can see the shades here too. Uh, you also have the beautiful aluminum exterior that Airstream is so well known for, you know, the, the shell within the shell if you will. This right here folks is the exact same aluminum they use on the exterior, it's .040 aluminum and it has the fluorocarbon coating on there which is especially important to the outside. Uh, the reason being is that it's weather resistant, it's also mold resistant, and it helps, uh, helps from having oxygen permeate the surface so that way it's not causing any condensation issues inside uh, in between the two layers as well. Also where you have your aluminum beams running through, there is also a thermal bond tape on there so again you're not building up that condensation where the aluminum is touching each other and it's all EcoBat insulation. So. That's really important because that does help make this a fully green coach, especially if you have some issues, if you're sensitive to some of the formaldehydes and things that a lot of campers give off, you don't have to worry about that here in the Airstream. We take a look up top at the ceiling. You can see that aluminum, also the, the cool rivets that they have, you know, again, that iconic look that Airstream has. You'll see the fan right here, power vent fan, which will help create nice airflow in here. And also if you are cooking, will help alleviate some of those smells. Big skylight right here in the center too. As I mentioned folks, Airstream is all about lighting. You have a ton of windows in here and a ton of LED lights too. So it's bright no matter if it is daytime or nighttime. TV right over here. Uh, you'll have two TVs that come in the coach. One right here in your main living area. The other one is in the bedroom which we'll see a little bit later. And then over to the other side is the kitchen. I actually want to start right over here if you notice. You have key hooks right there, right as soon as you walk in, so it's a perfect place for them. I know a lot of people do that on their own in a lot of campers, but again, you know, Airstream is trying to make things that much easier. Same style of cabinets we had over the dinette, that beautiful curved wood, the hidden hinges here. Again, folks, this is all light ply in here. Uh, you know, you don't have any particle board. You have zero wood at all in the structure of this thing, uh, that outside structure, which is great, you know. so. If you're, again, looking for a camper that is generational, Airstream definitely fits that bill. Directly underneath the stainless steel hood, nice bright light. Look at this. You have the, the bright LED light here, really lights up the cooking surface. This is one of those things you generally don't get. Normally, it's a really dim light. Your kitchens are poorly lit. That's not at all the case here. And this hood does have a fan in it as well. You'll notice it has the stainless cooktop, so that way you can close that down if you need to use it as prep space. When you lift it up and back like it is right now, you have the upgraded grill here with the three burner cooktop, the front one being high output. So if you're looking to boil water, especially if you're in higher altitudes, that front one is probably the one you'll want to use. The countertop itself is a beautiful color. It almost looks like shifting sand going through here. Good prep space right here in the center. Again, you can utilize that cooktop. You have a sink top cover, so you can use this as prep space too. When we remove that, it'll reveal your single uh, stainless steel bowl here, steel queen bowl. Folks, this is a thick gauge stainless steel bowl. A lot of people don't know this, but when it comes to sinks, people think all stainless steel sinks are the same, and that is just not true. Having a thicker gauge, meaning it doesn't have that tinny sound, more importantly, it doesn't dent nearly as easily as like your really thin gauge ones. So there's definitely a big difference in stainless steel sinks, and this is a high-end sink. It's also very deep, so you're able to fit some of those bigger pots and pans down in there. This cover, you can flip this over, and you can utilize this as a cutting board too. The reason I say to flip it over is because you don't want a bunch of knife marks in the top. You want that to make sure it stays nice and beautiful just like it is. 
You also have this arch heater in the faucet, helps bring it up a little bit, makes washing and rinsing those dishes a little easier. You also have the side sprayer here too if you want to utilize that. We take a look on the back wall. You'll notice the window right here. I like the fact that it has the roller shade rather than just a standard blind. Um, you know, again, it just helps keep that, that uniform look throughout. But you do have a couple of windows there, again, for that natural light during the day. You have the uh, GFCI plug right here, the double 110 outlets. Directly above is your C Level 2 tank monitor. Folks, this is really cool. Um, the main reason is because this is a probeless tank monitoring system. So that's especially important on your black tank because a lot of the times on most RVs you'll get false readings after a couple times using it because toilet paper will essentially get stuck on those probes. You don't have to worry about that issue here with the C-Level 2. You'll also see your battery gauges on there and your water pump switch is there too. Right down below this is your solar uh, essentially control system. You can monitor everything from your uh, battery right there, voltage, solar voltage, everything right there from that unit. You just touch the button here and uh, you can scroll right through it, which is quite nice. Directly underneath is your inverter. Pretty simple, it shows you right here, LED light, inverter on. If it's not on, inverter's off, so you can control that there. When we take a look underneath the countertop, so uh, right up front here, we'll take a look right over to the side. There's a couple things. <clears throat> you see your two main light switch controls. They are on dimmers. So that way, if you want to dim it down, it is quite simple to do so. That way you can kind of get that mood lighting. Or more importantly, if you have guests staying the night, uh, or if you're coming in late, you can dim it down. So that way people can see to get up and use the restroom, but it's not, you know, glaringly bright. Then you'll have some uh, other light switches right down here. You can see that nice and easy. Uh, right down below is your battery disconnect, folks. That's, uh, again, if you're not using this camper, if it's storing it in the off season, you definitely want to hit that disconnect to make sure you don't have a constant drain on the battery. A little bit of storage right over here. You can see both of those. They do have magnets on them. So, you know, what you do, just like that, you just kind of push it out, and then there's a little pull tab right there. So you can pull it all the way out. Pretty simple to use. And then right next to that, you have your fire extinguisher. Hopefully you never have to use it, but it's always good to know where it is in your camper. We take a look underneath the sink itself. This is pretty cool. Again, they have the curved wood, which I love that they do this. Really adds a lot of style and aesthetics to your coach. This swings open just like so. You can see that one storage area right over to the side, kind of the same access to the same space. And then right over here is your trash can. So that way you have a dedicated place for it. And again, they give you the trash can so you don't have to go out and search for one yourself. Right over here are your bank of drawers. Open this up again. As I mentioned previously, everything in here has pocket screws. It's glued. They use dowels to put everything together, so it is very well constructed. You see the divider here for your flatware. More drawers going down. You can see that, so plenty of space for everything that you need to fit in there. Uh, we talked about the cooktop. What we didn't talk about is right underneath. You'll see you have an oven here as well in case you want to do some baking. And then you have the drop down compartment right here. Now, I know this is not huge, but at least they gave you the space, folks. Most manufacturers would have just paneled that off, not given you anything there. But I love the fact that Airstream has. And then you get over here into your pantry space. So you take a look right up top, you'll see big open pantry right there, which is awesome. Underneath that, this is really cool too you have an appliance tray. So here is your microwave. Um, if you never use your microwave, folks, you can, of course, take this out. You want to put a toaster or something in there, you can do that too. But, you know, I think it's pretty neat that they were able to incorporate it right into here. Uh, you know, especially if you don't use it often, that way it's tucked out of the way. And underneath that, you have the actual pull-out pantry right here. You know, of course, I would put food items in here, but whatever you want to do, uh, you know, of course, you can pack it up however you decide. If we go back across the other side here, right up top, you see some storage there. Again, kind of the same concept as down below the oven. Not huge, but it is definitely usable. Before we go to the fridge, I do want to make note of this right here. Folks, this is your air intake for your AC. Uh, this is a, a very nice system. You don't have the big box on here, just the two air intakes. It is a lot prettier. Uh, and again, it functions very well. Just so you know, that AC does have a heat strip in there too. So if it's over 40 degrees, you can run that to be able to heat the coach up and heat it off electric rather than using your propane. 
All right, back down to the fridge freezer combo here. Stainless steel panels. We open that up. You can see you have plenty of space cut out here as well. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And then right down below, again, kind of like I mentioned earlier, small storage space, really giving you, uh, you know, storage all throughout. Then we step back one more step here, folks. We kind of step back into the bathroom space. You'll see that this is a split bath. Now, I know a lot of people really hate split baths because, uh, you know, you have to walk through a bathroom to get to the bedroom. But I'm telling you, this is a great setup, especially if it's mainly going to be the two of you because someone can use the shower while someone else is getting ready, putting makeup on, using the toilet, whatever else it may be. It is just, uh, in my opinion, a lot more convenient for two people getting ready at the same time. Plus, if it's just one person or if you need privacy, you have a curtition here as well as one right back here. So you can close this entire space off. So this is basically one large bathroom. Before we do enter that though, we have this right here, which is our wardrobe. You'll notice you have an LED light inside. So if you are getting in there at night, big storage up top, as well as the hanging bar right down below. Uh, something I like that Airstream does is rather than this being plastic like most, it's actually a rubber coating that's on there. So that way when you put the hanger on here, it'll, it'll actually stay. You know, I've done this a lot of times where it's just the plastic one and half the stuff falls over because the plastic, you know, it's kind of slick and the hangers bounce off, fall down. They will stay a lot better uh, on the rubber coated rod there. Make our way back a little further. So right here is the shower itself. If you take a look in there, you have the swing shower door. You have the uh, beautiful seat that is built in. I will step in here just to kind of give you an idea of height. So I'm six foot. As you see right here, I can stand. If you're a little bit taller, you know, if you're 6'2", 6'3", you probably will have to bend over a little. But, uh, you know, if you're my height or shorter, it does work pretty well. You have the hand wand right here that will obviously attach right down there. You have your shower valve located here. This is on a pin, folks. So you, the idea is you set this to what level you want. You can take that off and use the hand wand individually. And then right back here is your retractable clothesline. So a lot of people don't use their shower for a shower at all. They'll use whatever facilities they have at the campground. And so that way you have this clothesline here. But instead of having to put like a tension rod in, Airstream already loads this up for you. So it's standard, uh, you know, just making life a little easier. Right in between the two right here, you will see the skylight. That way again, you know, as I mentioned, Airstream's all about bright light. This is part of that. You can close this off if you, you know, don't want the bright light in the morning and you want a little more shade. So across the hall is the rest of the bathroom. You take a look up on the ceiling, you'll see a couple LED lights there as well as your exhaust fan. And then you have the big mirror right here. So, you know, again, if you're putting makeup on in the morning, you can see what you're doing. If you lift that up, you will also notice that behind there you have a good size medicine cabinet. So any other bathroom accessories you want to put up there, you can do that. Right underneath you have this shelf here again for uh, any other items. You'll also see a towel bar here over to this side. And then you have the beautiful aluminum back panel. I love that they kept that aluminum, didn't mess with that again, giving that Airstream look and feel. The double GFCI outlet there. Good countertop space. You can see you know, how much uh, actual space you have right over here. And again, folks, sometimes it's the little things. I love that they used you know, the aluminum right here to tie everything in rather than just putting a big bead of caulk there. Uh, you know, it, as I mentioned, Airstream does a lot of those little things that help provide value in this camper. Right over here to the side, you will see your uh, water heater. You can run it off electric or propane there. And then you have the hand wand, or the hand wand, the, uh, the hand towel ring right here too. Stainless steel sink there. And then if you take a look underneath, you have a little bit of storage right there as well as access to your plumbing, your P-trap and everything for this sink. And then on the other side here, folks, you have good storage, both top and bottom. And of course, you can slide those either way. You have the storage there uh, so it's easily accessible. That way you have a spot for all of your other bathroom goodies. When you step back in the master bedroom, you will see the queen bed. As you'll notice, it does come with plenty of decorative pillows, as well as a beautiful heavy duty comforter here. We take a look underneath and you will notice a ton of storage here too, which is great. 
Cool thing about it is you don't even have to lift up the bed. You can just drop this down to be able to access those items. You'll see they do include a bin there as well. They also have bins on both sides of the bed. And again, there is storage here from the sides too, or access to that storage from the sides. So if you don't want to lift up the bed, you certainly don't have to, but you will notice that it is strut supported. So that way it is easy to raise and lower. One other thing you might notice is right up there, folks, you will see the inverter tucked away over there. So uh, just in case you're wondering where that is, that is where it is located. I'm going to drop this back down here and let's take a look at both sides of the bed. So you have a big nightstand, which is awesome. Gives you a spot to put down your glass of water. Or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you do have electrical outlets on both sides. Right down below, you'll also notice big storage areas. So you have uh, plenty of storage for both people. If we take a look underneath the cabinets, you'll notice you have directional lighting here. So nice reading lights, couple of speakers, and then you have dual USB ports on both sides as well in case you want to charge electronics. And then right up top, kind of like we had in the kitchen and above the dinette, same style, the hidden hinges, the beautiful curved light ply doors right there. Folks, just so you know, all of the cabinetry, just like all of your uh, exterior openings on the aluminum portion of this coach, are all CNC cut. So everything in here is precision cut for a precision fit. You have windows on both sides. Now you'll notice that the handles right here are red, whereas most are gray. The reason is because this is an emergency exit, and even if the curtain here is shut, they want you to know that. Uh, you know, that way if you're panicking, the color just makes it a little bit easier. You have your Samsung TV right here, so top name brand television here in the bedroom. You also have a dimmer switch for the bedroom. So again, if you want to dim this down, you can do that. And then right up top here is your Dometic control for uh, your AC and your heat. If you take a look in the center, you'll also see you have your power vent fan here. So if you don't want to run AC, you can open up a window, turn that on, and get some good uh, air circulation here in the master bedroom. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Flying Cloud 27FB. Starting off right up front, this one does come with the power tongue jack. That way it's nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You will see there's a level right up top. As you'll notice, this one is not currently level. And then you will also have a light right up front here just to give you a little extra visibility if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. You have your breakaway cable right down below, so that way you don't have a runaway trailer. In the event that somehow it does come disconnected here at the ball, this cable will pull out. That will lock up the brakes on your trailer. Right behind that is your propane tank cover. Notice how Airstream has the beautiful cover rather than having the standard black plastic one. This is actually one that they assemble in-house. And when we open it up and take a look inside, you will see it houses two 30-pound propane tanks. That way you have plenty of propane for some of those extended excursions. Directly behind that is your battery box. If we open this guy up, you will see it houses two Group 24 batteries. The neat thing about this box, folks, is it is deep enough that if you want to put two 6-volt batteries in there so you have more amp hours while you're out camping, it is able to handle those larger batteries. You have solar prep right over here, so if you want solar, you can buy the portable panels and plug it in there. And if we open up this front compartment here, you lift those up, turn them just like so, and drop that down. This is that front storage area we saw underneath the bed. So you'll notice it is kind of walled off from anything else, but this is a great storage area. You have the diamond plating right here on the bottom, so it is meant to get beat up and abused a little bit more. You can see that this is where we currently have the power uh, cord stored. But again, you can store tools and all sorts of other things right down in that front compartment. Right here on both sides, you have stainless steel rock guards going across the front. That way any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle hopefully will hit these rock guards and not damage the front end of your beautiful Airstream. In the event that you need to be able to access behind these, you can undo the lock nuts. There's a piano hinge on both of them. They will swing open so you can get back there again if you need to clean back there or just to replace these panels as a whole. Beautiful front windows all the way along the front here. They're uh, gorgeous, they're tinted. As you can see how much light they let in, but again, nobody can see in. You also can undo the two straps on the front here to be able to lift up that front one. 
you do have a couple different lockout positions there based upon how high you want that window open. The Zip D awning here, you can see that expand, extends the entire length of the travel trailer, folks. That is an awesome awning. Uh, that way you have all of the space here. You can set up camp, set up your table, your chairs, everything right here outside of your Airstream. As I previously mentioned inside, all the openings that are made in the outer shell here are all CNC cut. So these are precision cut. And then the aluminum extrusions here are made in house. They are perfectly fit. So that way you don't have any leaks. I know that's one concern people have sometimes the aluminum shell is, you know, is it going to leak? But folks, Airstream probably has the most vigorous leak test out of any manufacturer out there. They put this uh, through a chamber that has over 80 spray nozzles and it puts out an impressive 350 gallons per minute that this coach has to go through. And it has to be able to withstand that for 30 minutes to have this roll off the Airstream line. So it definitely not have to be, you don't have to worry about leaks. They build a solid product and they know it. As far as the construction itself, I did explain most of it inside. It is a, they call a semi monocoat construction, which is generally used in the uh, air industry for planes. And essentially what it means, what it boils down to is the fact that the outer skin here actually absorbs most of the impacts from the entire body. So the advantage of that means you won't have cabinets and stuff rattling off your walls. You won't have plates or anything else that will break while you're traveling down the road. You'll see your water heater is right here. That's easy to open. You simply turn this like so, and then the door will drop right down. You'll also notice there's a little guard right here. That way when you spin this, it's not scratching off any paint. Right next to that, you have double electrical outlet. Need to plug anything in out here, that's the place to do it, folks. It's right underneath your awning. So if you wanna set up a table, put an electric griddle out here, blender, whatever else you want, you know, you can set all that up. Maybe you just need to charge a cell phone. You can do that too. You have uh, 16 inch, or I'm sorry, 15 inch tires on this one, aluminum alloy wheels. You have the never adjust brakes as well as the never lube axles. Now, both of those are awesome for different reasons. The, uh, the never adjust brakes are self adjusting brakes. A lot of people don't realize that that's a step in maintenance. A lot of times it gets over missed or it gets missed, overlooked. With the self-adjusting brakes, folks, you're looking at about a 50% increase in, st in uh, stop reduction. So you travel about 50% less when you're looking to stop than non-properly adjusted brakes. That is a huge deal when you're talking about stopping power. So again, very safe coach to ride in, or to tow behind, rather. Also for your uh, never lube bearings, that's a big deal too. A lot of coaches, you have to constantly repack the bearings or there's a grease that you have to pump grease into. With this, it is a sealed system. You don't have to do anything. And there's great warranties on there as well. You're looking at five and 10 year warranties respectively on those two products. LED porch light right here. So if you want some light outside, you can turn that on. There's a light on the awning as well. This does open up uh, and actually clips into place right here. I. I and again, sometimes it's the minor things that I really love about travel trailers, and this is one of them, folks. The Airstream door is phenomenal. And you can see right here how it just attaches super simple and easy. You don't have to worry about, you know, having it stick out a little ways or anything. When you go to shut it, you just push it just like so, and the door shuts. And as I mentioned, we were inside. That is an extremely solid door. You have one piece cast aluminum hinges right here. So again, solid hinges on there. You have the window that is inlaid. You'll notice above the door, as well as above some of the windows, you have the rain gutter there. Especially, especially important on the door. So when you're entering into the RV, you don't have a bunch of rain coming down on you. Right down below here are the steps and Airstream has some awesome steps. You take both of these and pull it up. You'll see this just snaps right down in place. You will then actually take this step and you actually roll this over like so, and it drops down just like that. There you go, folks. Now your two steps are out. The neat thing about this is this is an all aluminum step system. Now, most travel trailer manufacturers that claim to have aluminum steps, the treads are steps, but all the connect or the treads are aluminum, but all the connectors are not. With Airstream, all of this is aluminum, so not only are your treads not gonna rust, but your connecting bars and all the other systems will not rust as well. So that way your step system will continue to be easy to use year in and year out. 
You'll see the sticker right here, folks. It is certified green, as I also mentioned inside. That way you don't have any formaldehyde or anything that's leaking in there. They'll make sure that it is safe, especially if you have a lot of allergies. You'll be able to breathe easy here in the flying cloud. So you come around to the back, you can see the five panels that come back here, just like we had on the front end. When Airstream was originally made, they actually had 13 panels going across, but over the years they have improved it uh, through you know, different technologies. Now where it looks like that is bent, that is not true. It's actually stretch formed, which is an extremely strong process. They put it over a die and they put it down under several hundred tons of pressure to be able to stretch form that aluminum. And it really gives it the strength and the look that you have come to know and love from Airstream. You have a couple of marker lights right up top there. You'll also see that you have the uh, backup camera. So that's a great feature to have. That, you know, this is a larger travel trailer. That way when you're backing up, you can make sure you're not going to hit anything. It'll help you avoid some of those stumps, rocks. Some of the things are a little tougher to see. You also notice you have the window awning right here, so you can roll that out. LED uh, brake lights on both sides there. Your license plate does have a light, so you can light that up. Then you have this storage tray built right here into the bumper. So good extra outside storage right there for anything that you want to stick in there. Here on the off door side, again, we have the beautiful windows on this side, letting in that natural light. They're tinted just like up front. You'll also see these ones have the rain gutters on there. And above that, we also have the window awning on this entire side. Right down below, you'll see your furnace exhaust right there. If we drop down a second, you will see you have access to your, uh, your stabilizer jacks here. You have all four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner. And if you look underneath, it's tough to see folks, but this is a completely enclosed underbelly here. So that way you won't have a bunch of road debris and stuff that's going to shoot up there. Um, you know, and you also do have heat run in the underbelly, so that way you can heat your tanks. You don't have to worry about those freezing up on you if you're camping in some of the uh, colder fall temps. This is the back of your refrigerator. This is something I love that Airstream does because it makes it super easy to get to. Most of the time, it's not the case. The panel's a little bit tougher, uh, but here it just makes it easy. They also, something small and minor, but they like, right here is your drain tube. They just put this clamp here to lock it in place. You know, something small and simple, but you'd be surprised how often that doesn't happen. The drain tube gets stuck in there and all of a sudden you have a bunch of water filling up in the back of your refrigerator, which is not something that you want. 30 amp power inlet right there, detachable power cord, your cable and uh, satellite will be connected right there if you so choose. Right here is your city water fill. So if you're, uh, you have full connection, all you have to do is take the hose, hook it right up there. It will run to all of your appliances. If you are looking to fill up your water tanks, you'll want to do that right here. You'll just open that up, fill it right there. So that way, if you plan on doing some boondocking, that will be your go-to. After you're done camping and you've drained your gray and black tanks, you'll want to use this right here, which is your black tank flush. You hook up a garden hose there. I do not recommend using the same one that you use on either of these for potable water because you don't really want any kind of black flow or anything. But essentially what this is, folks, is there's sprayers built in the black tank. You hook the hose up right there. Any solids that are left behind from the gravity feed, they will get sprayed out. So you want to leave that running for 10 to 15 minutes or so just to help clean out the rest of that black tank. Right over here also you have your outside shower that does have both hot and cold water access. Right down below here is your termination. You'll see that you have your holding tank valves right here. And if you notice right back on there, you can actually see that galvanized box. That is your holding tank, folks. Uh, one of the cool things about Airstream is they actually drop the tanks down and they saddle them right around this axle here to help for weight distribution. Kind of the same reason they put the spare tire up front where they do. Now, as I mentioned, those tanks, they do have uh, your actual tanks are inside those galvanized tanks. There is heat run to them to help ensure things don't freeze up on you. As far as your sewer hose, the container for that is actually right up front. So that way it's not rolling around with your bumper and certainly you don't want it underneath your bed. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Airstream Flying Cloud 27FB. If you're interested in this beautiful travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.